Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. My name is Shredder and this is my zoo. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing something with the frogs. This right, it's going to be a frog watch in Ark. We're going to be doing the frogs. Uh, yes, I've been looking forward to this one. Um, so I've got myself three froggies here. This one we tamed up a few uh, episodes ago and uh, this one I've uh, just got um, off camera here. So um, we're going to be doing a very similar kind of thing to what we did last time out with the Dipicalus. Um, if you if we just uh, swim over here a little bit, um, you can see the uh, enclosure that the you know, Dipicalus has over there. Um, we did a lot of work under the water with the rocks and the um, the corals and stuff and all that sort of thing. So we're going to do a similar sort of thing, get plenty of plants going and rocks and things make this place look really nice. Um, and also what I want to do is perhaps work on a little area just kind of around here um, to kind of pretty this place up a bit, make it look a bit more... Um, traversable because at the moment it's kind of a little bit tricky for the visitors to walk through there's no real clear path for them to go through so that's what we're going to be doing try and make things look nice and also if you look here um it's not really oh, oh it's gone it's gone hang on come back come back textures come on we we're having this issue with the textures there we go oh, almost we're having a little bit of trouble with the textures <laughs> it's better than it was uh the textures are kind of back um, so before it was looking all kind of plasticky and there's no detail at all. Uh, we can now actually see this place uh, in all its full glory because uh, I managed to get myself some more memory, another uh, 8 gig of memory in my computer and I think that's done the trick. Um, it's still taking a little while to load in but um, it's better than it was anyway. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do, um, and the, the simple boring task, is placing up the, the railings. So I'm going to do the same sort of things what I did before. I think I'm going to go with um, just, just normal fence foundations rather than the S Plus uh, fence supports because I was having real trouble getting them um, up. Even though they do provide a nice kind of flat top, um, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get a decent one going here anyway. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll start working on making this place look nice. Okay guys, so I've placed the uh, the fence all the way around. It joins up with the Dipicolus uh, enclosure and uh, it's going um, just above the water in places. I think that looks quite nice. Unfortunately, you know, it is a little bit wonky, but then, um, you know, if you saw the last episode, I, I did explain I had some real trouble getting the uh, the S Plus fence foundations to, uh, supports rather, to, to work. Uh, I've used the supports over, uh, over, yeah, over this area with some of the... Um, the, the Capro enclosure and you can see you get a perfectly straight line going across that's fine but you do have a lot of trouble you, they don't go all the way down to the ground that sort of thing we're okay because we've built the path uh, um, along here so that works absolutely fine um, and along here is absolutely fine but um, yeah I was having real trouble you can see it doesn't all the way goes down to the ground or we were having gaps and things so um, that, that's why I've had to move over just to the, the, the standard kind of foundations um, but that's okay we, we're doing alright um, it looks yeah, it's a thing. It's okay. Well, we need to make this place look a lot prettier. So we're going with the corals again, first of all. Uh, now, if you saw the last episode, I, I went a little bit silly with the uh, the editing. And every time I said the word coral, a uh, picture of Carl from Walking Dead popped up. Some of you spotted that. Um, <laughs> because, you know, when, when Rick says uh, Carl, uh, it sounds like he says coral. It's like coral. Uh, yeah, try saying coral without thinking of coral. Anyway, anyway, we're getting distracted. Let's stick down some coral. I'm not going to do it this time out. Ah, now you can see this could be a problem. This is where I've used... Ah, this is exactly what I'm, I'm talking about. This is where I've used the um, the fence supports in the uh, Sarco enclosure. And there's a massive gap underneath. We can swim underneath. I don't think the Sarcos can get through there. That's why I haven't bothered with it. But the, the frogs might well if they swim down deep enough. So we may have to fix that up. Um, by placing in some uh, some railings and things. Okay, well we'll do that in a little while. Let's get this place looking nice by sticking down some uh, some coral reefs and things. So we've got some like, little small ones. We'll put some small ones a little bit further back, maybe extending outwards from um, from there. That looks quite nice. So uh, this is pretty much what I did last time out. So we're going to do something a little bit different in a little while. So don't worry, this isn't going to be a, a, an identical video to last time out. But we do need to do the same sort of thing. I think what I might do next time out, let me know what you think. Um, if you want me to carry on with some of the other things. I think we've got, uh, what we've got, we've got the turtles to do. And uh, there's still a whole load more we need to do down here. But maybe we'll take a break from the lake. And uh, we'll do one of the, um, the other ones I've got in there. Maybe... Uh, maybe the Kentrosaurus would be quite a nice one to do. 
we've got a couple of those that we need to build an enclosure for um, you can always have a look at some of the uh, the new ones that have come out um, in the latest update, the Hyenodons or the Megatherium, that sort of thing, um, Uteranus. We could, we could look at some of those possibly. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what we can uh, come up with. Uh, let's stick another one of these uh, like that. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Have we got any more? We've got some more. Let's stick. There's a big gap here. Let's do like that. And then we'll stick some of these uh, tall ones as well. They don't look particularly tall, but they are... Yeah, that looks quite nice. We'll stick a few of those about. Maybe we'll stick a few sort of together, a little sort of clump like that. And we'll stick a few up here. Luckily, we do have quite a few plants in here already. Some of these uh, these bushes here. So we've got... It um, looks quite nice already, so it's not too bad. Uh, we, do, we definitely need some more things over here. Let's stick another little one. We can stick a couple of those, maybe. No, let's stick a larger one here as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. And there's still a lot we need to fit in here, but I'm trying to find some other plants and things as well, not just the corals. But yeah, that looks pretty good. And we need lots of plants up on the shore as well. So let me see if I can find what some other plants that we can use. All right, guys. So I think uh, the frog enclosure is pretty much done. Uh, so we've got all the the corals. I've placed some more rocks around, and uh, I've placed in some of this sort of the bamboo to kind of give it something a little bit extra. And uh, I've placed a whole load of lily pads down, a massive patch of lily pads there, some more rocks, more lily pads. And then around here you place a nice kind of rockery garden, so some rocks and grass and bushes and all sorts of things. I think that looks really, really nice and it really kind of makes it, it fills it in rather than this bare patch of sand. So I really think, I mean what we now, we're six, seven minutes into the video and uh, the enclosure's done, uh, we definitely need to do some more work. And now I think, I mean look at some of these other uh, enclosures, if we fly up a little bit higher we can see uh, how, it, how it compares uh, to the, uh, the Zarko exhibit and the uh, Baryonyx, we definitely need a little bit of work, I think, uh, in some of these enclosures. Uh, so we might come back to that in a moment, but what I want to do is try and work on uh, this area over here, I think, would be quite a good place to work. This is kind of the entrance to the uh, the lakeside exhibit. So there's two entrances, there's one further down there as well. But this one, uh, we need to work on a path coming from the zoo up there to come down around and come back down here and then this is the area where we can go and you can walk down the middle this is where most people will come to will come down the middle but we also have a way around to go let me just uh, stop flying for a moment and yeah so we also have a way to come around this way so you can actually go up I see it's a little bit awkward I can't really get up there without uh, sort of flying and that so we definitely need to make uh, work on this area here so we can actually have a nice pathway going over this way uh, so we can get into the Sarko exhibit here and then start working way down further along the lake to see all the other exhibits. Um, I think it's a really nice kind of lookout point here. Uh, okay, so I've placed in a couple of pathways here that kind of disappears into the ground here. So I think what we'll do is we'll work on it from this end um, so that we have a proper pathway uh, that we can go from from here and or we can go up that way. So we need to come down from this direction. This is where... This is kind of the pathway. There's the, there's the natural pathway that runs down from the zoo, which is kind of up in this direction there. So you kind of follow this way. Now I think, let's have a quick run up that way. And I think I do have, I'm not going to build this whole thing like all the way down here. This will, will work on as we go along. But yeah, so that's the exit to the zoo. There's some big old gates there. And I think what I would do is uh, maybe... Uh, what can we do? Well, they've got this gap here. This is from where the, the aviary is. We can have a look at our birds. So there's a big gap here, which is what I'd put this in so you could be able to get dinos in and out if I needed to. But maybe we'll have like another entranceway here for people to go through, um, like a proper entranceway. So the pathway needs to come down this way. It's kind of a natural path anyway, but we just need to put in some fences and walls and some decorations and things, which will be a uh, subject for another episode. Um, but what I want to work on is the area down down here so you need to be able to come down here and uh, then you have a, a choice of pathways one to go down there and one to go up there so let's have a think about how we're going to do this okay so i think i've got a plan um so we're going to place some foundations along here and uh, we'll see where this kind of ends up um so we'll have some steps coming down this way so we can come down to this area and then we'll we'll make this area look real pretty um i think uh, we should we have it going all the way along? Uh, oof, you scared me. Um, uh, let me think. 
Okay, we'll definitely put that in there. Are you... Oh, this is not a parasol in exhibit. <laughs> we'll have to get rid of him later. We'll feed him to the baryonics. Um, okay, let me think. We'll go over this way. We'll carry on this way. I think we're going to do... The path will probably be too wide, I guess, would probably be the best thing. Let's just put in some more. And uh, we'll we'll change... Yeah, I think it'll be right. Yeah, then we'll, we can change things around. Uh, we'll see how it looks. We'll do the, like this. And then, of course, we'll have some more steps going up that way, I think. Because that will be where the main path is. And then we can uh, we can do that another time. So I think, well, let's carry on over this way and see how far we can get. Um, and see how well I've lined this up, actually, as well. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. Okay, so we need to get rid of that rock. Uh, I guess we can carry on that way around. Let me get my pick out. I should just have a pick. Yeah, we'll get rid of this rock. And uh, yeah, so we have a nice kind of thing. I think we'll have like some railings and things. Um, and then we'll have more, more kind of down, down this area here. We can have some plants and things that make it look quite nice, quite picturesque. I think it'll look really quite nice. I'm quite, quite looking forward to this. Let me get this done and uh, I'll join you back once it's a bit more complete. Okay, so I've got the path done. I changed it around a little bit because it wasn't quite lined up with this. And I found that what I could actually do is connect it to this path here. And uh, we need, we've got a little bit of a step there. But that's fine. But it, I think it look, it's perfect because it's just above the top of the line of the rocks there. So it looks like a proper path as it comes down over this way. So what I can do, I've got myself some stone ramps. Uh, this is part of the S Plus mod as well. And we can actually put down um, some ramps along here, I think. Um, so I wonder what we could do... I don't think we'll need to do that one there because of that rock. Those definitely. And another one. And then we'll need to come. Hopefully we can extend it downwards. Uh, this parasol is going to be in the way a little bit. Are you going to move? <laughs> Uh, I think that looks pretty good. So what we can do is change these to stairs, which I think will look much better. And uh, also, I, I think last time when I, I um, said about the stairs, I, w I was complaining a bit because they were floating and I thought it didn't look very realistic. Um, but amazingly, they, they've changed the texture. So we can see there's some stairs over this way. They've actually put a support. So here we've got a wooden support coming down, uh, which makes it look so much better. You can see how long the textures take to load in. At least we are getting textures now. It's better than it was. Um, anyway, yeah, so they've put just the support down there. That's all they needed. And it actually looks like it's a real staircase. I'm really happy about that. Actually, while we're here, we can put some there and, and there. And we should be able to switch these over to stairs and like that oh that looks so good and those 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 are connected anyway so that's perfect uh we'll place some railings along the side so people don't fall off the edge down the little cliff here and yeah we'll change all these to stairs ah oh, nice yeah that looks that looks really really good Okay, so let's place in some railings. I like the wood railings better than the stone railings. And this is another thing they've changed. They've changed the texture uh, of the railings when they go on the slopes, uh, on the ramps rather, and they look so much better. And they actually, they, they join up much, much better. Uh, we probably have to go around the park and, and replace them because I think you have to pick them up and put them down again uh, to be able to get them to look like that if you've already placed some down. Uh, but I'm super happy with how they look. That looks amazing. Did we have some over this way, or has that changed? Let's quickly zip over this side and just check. Because we have some railings put down. Yeah, so this is the normal kind of railing. So I think if we pick up these railings, and then place it down again. There we go, that looks super amazing. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Let's pick up this, and place it down again. Like that. Brilliant. Yes, yeah, so there's a few more to do. I'll do those off camera. Uh, but yeah, but let's get some more railings down, like that. Oh, it looks so good. And yeah, I guess we'll just put the railings all, all the way along across the top like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then we'll start working on the plants and making this place look really nice. Okay, so the pathway is complete. Um, I've put railings on both sides. I was debating whether or not I needed railings on this side, but I thought what I might do is this little area here, make into a nice little garden. So you might want to have that fenced off so that uh, people don't trample the plants, that sort of things. Um, and also this little area here I thought would look really nice as a little seating area. Now I've got these nice little benches that I used last time out from the uh, Eco's Scorched Earth uh, Decor mod. And I think 
putting in a bench like that, this thing just looks so good. I really like these benches as well. Um, and what about another one on this side, the back here, a little bit further forward, like that. Just a couple of benches. I think that looks really, really nice. And then maybe I would, I would like one more, but I'm not sure whether that would fit in properly. It would be this because this wall is now at a slight angle. I guess that might be all right if I put it like that. Yeah, now that looks perfect. That does definitely look perfect. We could maybe try putting in one more. Oh, I haven't got one more. No, I think I think that was spoiler if I put one more in. So that looks really, really nice. Uh, but also we do have some plants and things that we can try and try out and put into here. Um, let me see, what have I got here? Now there's this, uh, what is that? Uh, let's have a look and see what we have. I've, I just grabbed a whole load of stuff. That's the bamboo stuff that we'll be using. Uh, wildflowers we'll definitely try. What else do we have? The banana plants, we have redwood shrubs, um, myra bush, uh, oh azalea bush, that looks quite nice. Let's try an azalea bush. Uh, what else have we got? Briar bush cluster. Um, okay, well let's try, let's try and see what these things look first of all. That looks quite small. Let's put it right in the corner like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice, that's a nice one. And then we have uh, wild flowers. I think there are actually a lot more flowers which I might get. Yeah, that'd be fine. I think what I might do... Yeah, I'm going to grab a load of flowers, I think, because I think we'll put this as a, a proper little uh, little garden. Okay, so I've got a whole load of flowers. So just place some of these uh, desert wild flowers down. I think they're quite nice in that patch there. Uh, we've already got our bushes there, but what else do we have? I've, I've placed, um, well, I've got loads of stuff in my hot bar. Let's have a look. That's the, the wildflowers, I think. Uh, what, what have we got there? Number two. Let's have a look. Oh, no, is that what we have? It's, I think that's what I just placed down. Let's take another one. Yeah, there we go. That's the wildflowers. Okay, so that's slot number two. Slot number three is our wildflowers, which I think are these ones over here. So we can place maybe uh, a few of these over like that. So a nice little patch of those. Um, slot number four, what have we got here? Let's have a look at this one. Oh wow, really bright purple ones. Are they the geran are they geraniums? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they look like uh, geraniums a little bit. That's not too bad. Yeah, we'll have a few of those. Uh, we'll stick another one of those. Uh... Oh, that's something different. What's this? That's a little tiny one. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's in the sternum. Okay. Well, we need a little patch of those, I think. We'll have, have uh, some of the sternums uh, over this way. That looks really nice. Oh yeah, you can really make this place look, look pretty. Uh, what else do we have? Number six. Oh, we have a, a bush. Oh, okay, let's put six some bushes down the front here. Let's see. This is another azalea bush, I think. That's a purple azalea. Slightly bigger than uh, the azalea bush from the regular uh, thing. This, these are Eco's uh, ones again. Um, so okay, what else have we got? Number number seven. Is that what I just now put down? Oh, no, that's a red one. Oh, nice. We'll have a, a row of bushes down the front. And then number eight is a different one, which is a yellow one. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's brilliant. Uh, it's a shame that this one is a little bit smaller than those ones. That would look really nice. Okay, I like that. Uh, maybe I should... Uh, probably would have been better having them at the back. But uh, mind you, from this from this angle, that looks different. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll leave it like that. And then number nine, I have a, a large patch of wild flowers, which we can place uh, like that. And then maybe another one of those mixed in. How does that look? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. A, a little sort of flower bed. Brilliant. Okay, so that's that little section done. Um, I think what also what we could do, um, maybe, yeah, we need to do something over this way. Uh, I would say we need to, don't need to do too much here, I don't think, but maybe a little uh, thing in the water here, that'd be quite nice. Uh, yeah, okay, let's have a go at doing this bit. Okay guys, let's just take a quick break from the building to do some naming. Now last time out for the Diplocalus exhibit, I offered up several uh, creatures for 
adoption of so it's called this is how, how the rules work now so each episode i will say um i will offer up um, a few creatures for adoption if you want them named after you let me know in the comments and i will select them from the comments if there are more than one person who wants the same one i'll just select the uh, the most entertaining comment or the best comment or whatever um and we'll go with that one so you might not be successful but if not just keep trying so i offered up uh, three diplocalus and one direwolf last time out so first of all we have owen uh, this one's been named uh, for you. Um, this one was uh, Atronics Network. He wanted Owen named, uh, well, named Owen. We have uh, this one is Carl. Now this was, I think, uh, inspired by the, um, the well, how I said before. The um, every time I said the word Coral, I, I put up a picture of Carl. So um, uh, Hash Knight uh, Gaming wanted this one called Carl. And last one we have one called Aiden. Uh, Aiden was very desperate to have something named after him. And uh, so we've got one of these uh, named after you for Aiden. And the other one's already named Holifier from uh, a previous uh, subscriber. So let's go over to the Dire Wolf exhibit quickly and uh, we'll get that one named. Okay, over here we have Shiro. This one is for Enzo de Leon, who wanted a Dire Wolf named Shiro after his dog. Um, also, while we're over here, the new pack bonus is kind of in, in effect. They've all got a plus three bonus, and Shiro here is the alpha. So the highest level one that I have here has become the, the alpha of the pack. So there we go, and actually we can uh, might as well level it. I've got five points, we'll stick it all into health. So quite a powerful uh, alpha there. Uh, this time out, um, we're, it's obviously going to be the frogs. So I think I'm going to offer up four frogs for adoption. And um, we could offer up one more creature as well. Um, well, since we're over here, the last remaining uh, Chalicotherium, I will offer that one up for adoption as well. So all the direwolves have been named. We've got one uh, Chalicotherium named. So this one here, this one is a female Chalicotherium. Uh, that one is going to be up for adoption as well as the four frogs. All right, so uh, if you want those named after you, put it down in the comments, make it a good comment, and uh, maybe I'll select you. All right, back to the building. Okay, guys, I think I am done. So I've placed some bushes around just to kind of make it look really nice. I love these bushes. They uh, was all different colour flowers in. looks really nice. Uh, some of the sternums here just are coming out of the rocks. A few sort of wildflowers and things. A few little patches of flowers here. And uh, what else do I do? Um... I did some more flowers just around the corner here. Put a couple of benches up here and I kind of walled this one off. So I put a load of bamboo plants and some bushes across there to kind of make sure that nobody goes uh, any further this way. This is kind of off limits. Uh, we, can, we can do some more decorative stuff here, I guess. Um, a couple of benches there. People can sort of sit down and look out across the uh, the baryonics exhibit. And uh, these little pools here I filled with rocks and water lilies. I really do like the water lilies. I think they look really nice. And then uh, a couple of rocks and uh, some more, more water leaves here by the uh, Spino uh, Topiary. And there we go. I think that's pretty much it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Uh, so we've got the, our little garden, little seating area, our pathway going down to uh, the um, Sarco exhibit. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that one. There's a few other things we could definitely improve by putting more flower, flowers, uh, flowers, if I can get my words right, down there. Um, but yeah, but I think for now, that's going to be it. I think one last thing I want to do before we go is give the frogs a bit more attention because that's what this episode was about, the uh, little frogs here. Now I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. Let me see. We have, this is a, this is a male. One of these ones is a female. Yeah, this one's a female. Let's try, let's see if we can breed these two. I think they need to be in the water. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because they're kind of out of the water, but let me see. If we uh, enable wandering on you, and we will enable wandering on you. Um, let me see if they are. Will they mate? Now, if they're in the water, if I just do the whole you thing, will this work? I just want. Be, I just wanted to try out. Um, ready to mate? No. So, it, oh, hang on. But this course, that's not near enough. Where, where is the other one gone? Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Where, where, I can't. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's get on you. Uh, you're encumbered. Okay, here we go. We're free now. Um, okay, let me see if I can get this to work. 
Okay, yeah, so it seems to be working now. So I'm going to try and lay some frog spawn. Uh, I thought this would be an amazing thing because I have a frog watch series. If you haven't seen any of the frog watch series, I highly recommend them. I absolutely love that series um, where I've actually taken um, some uh, tadpoles out of the pond and growing them into little frogs. Um, it's kind of a, a vlog series on that. Definitely check that out. So kind of an educational kind of thing. You might like it. Um, and yeah, so I thought we'll try and do some frog watch here in Ark. So okay, I'm going to get this done. Uh, when it is done, I will bring you back. Okay guys, it's done. Um, it was a little bit weird. It hatched a tadpole. It didn't lay any frog spawn. And now I can't see where it's gone. Uh, I did see it swim around. Oh no, where is it? That was weird. It's supposed to have laid an egg. But it just it gave birth. It, oh, there it is, baby. There it is. Oh, claim it, claim it. Got it. We've got it, we've got it. Okay, right, I need to get it fed. <laughs> oh no. Okay, here it is. It is a little thing. So I don't know why I didn't lay the egg, but uh, <laughs> you've got a little tadpole. I think that's so. Uh, that's absolutely brilliant. Sable wandering. Uh, yeah, so it's, uh, mature, it's maturing. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get some imprints on it if we can. And uh, yeah, I think this will be quite fun having a, a little baby frog. Uh, let's see if I can, uh, I don't think I can crouch down at all, can I? It's so small. <laughs> Alright guys, it's uh, growing up fast. I just did its first uh, care. So it took about, um, the, the, yeah, it was about 10 minutes I guess. And he gave it 50% imprinting, uh, which is kind of weird. He's obviously uh, maturing very, very fast. So I'm not sure whether this has anything to do with the current uh, event that Wildcard has going on at the moment, where everything is kind of, uh, it's a two year of arc celebration so everything's kind of twice as fast as it normally is so imprinting and uh, baby maturing and all that sort of stuff is uh, a lot faster than it normally is i know we have boosted rates on this server anyway but 50 percent in one time that seems to be a little bit off but uh, i'm happy with that so um we've got plenty of meat on there um, of course now a little bit of education for you when uh, tadpoles are first arrive uh, they are um herbivores so they will eat plants uh, and now of course this guy has all his legs so he's becoming a, a frog although he started off that way so it's not entirely accurate how they got it um, but then once they get the back legs they become carnivorous and start eating meat and then once they get their front legs they then need to come out of the water but of course i think if i take this guy out of the water uh, he will die so um is the the tadpoles they look they look great they're not entirely accurate to uh, to real life, but they did a good job of that. I think I did a good job with the uh, with the frogs here. Anyway, we'll get this guy grown up, and uh, yeah, then that'll uh, be towards the end of the episode, I think. Okay, here we go. He wants to cuddle with me. Here we go. So it should now be 100% imprinted. That's pretty good. I mean, it is still only a level 15. It's not like we need to imprint or uh, do anything. Um, special with it but I just thought it would be fun to do a little bit of breeding of the frogs because of my frog watch series which you should definitely check out if you haven't already uh, yeah okay so this is very nearly done let's get the thing back again so very close to being uh, matured um, but yeah so I think that's pretty much it I think I'm going to call it a day here I'm pretty happy with how the progress has gone uh, the uh, the frog exhibit here looks really really nice lots and lots of detail lots of decoration and, um, and we made some really good progress on the decorating the the rest of it the the pathway over there and uh, lots of sort of flowers and seating areas and things I think I made some good progress on making this place look really really nice so um, yeah okay I want to say thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate you sticking towards the end of the video don't forget to uh, leave a like if you liked it let me know by leaving comments in the comment section you can join my discord server if you want to chat um, send me messages and things uh, you can follow me on Twitter and all that kind of stuff all the links you need to know are in the description I uh, hope you have a really nice day and I will see you next time out. Goodbye.